Hi friends, welcome to Kitchen Princess Bamboo Japanese Everyday Food. Today I'm gonna be making Babo tea from scratch. Babo tea or boba tea is booming in Japan. We call it as tapioca and it looks never picked out. Especially the young people crazy about it. They are in a long line to have one bottle. The chewy and starchy small balls have attracted Japanese people. But I don't want in a, to be in a long line, so I decided to make them from scratch. Let's get started. Let's make black tapioca pearl. If you can access to black tapioca pearls, prepare according to the package instruction. Put your dark brown sugar and one third of tapioca starch into a pot and pour water. Stir to dissolve. Turn the heat to medium and keep stirring. Cook until thickened. Stir vigorously until it looks translucent. Add in the rest of the tapioca starch and mix to combine. Take out onto your working surface and knead by hand because it's much easier to combine. It doesn't look come together, but do not add moisture. It will come together sooner or later. Keep kneading until it comes to one lump. If the dough is too sticky to handle, add some tapioca starch or potato starch and keep kneading. When the dough becomes even like this, let's shape into the pearls. Roll the dough out to a thin rope like this. Cut into small dice. Dust with tapioca starch or potato starch. Shape into small balls. It's time consuming, but it worth it. I'm kinda lazy person, so I was wondering what if I didn't shape it. Boil the dough without shaping. And it turns look like this. Bring a pot of water to a boil. Add in the tapioca pearls and Cook on medium-low for about 6 to 7 minutes. Stir occasionally to prevent stick to each other. Cook until the pearls float it to the surface. Then cook until it looks translucent. Taste it if you are not sure about cooked or not. Take out with lolled spoon and soak in icy water to create a chewy texture. Meanwhile, let's make dark sugar syrup. Put your dark brown sugar and water into a pot. Bring it to a boil and dissolve sugar. Add in drained tapioca pearl and cook for a couple of minutes. Transfer to a container and leave it until cool to room temperature. While we are waiting, let's prepare milk tea. Bring your water to a boil and add in tea leaf. Stir to distribute evenly and cook for 30 seconds. Add in whole milk and cook until just before boiling. Strain into a jug. Set aside until used. Next, we are preparing matcha syrup. Sift together the matcha powder and powdered sugar. Add in boiling water, mix to dissolve. Set aside until used. Now let's assemble. Spoon your tapioca pearls into the bottom of your grass. Add in more syrup if you want it to. Fill with whole milk, right grass. It's the most simple flavor, brown sugar milk. Fill the grass with milk tea in the center. It's the most popular flavor. Pour the matcha syrup to the left and fill with whole milk. You can substitute milk for your preference, like soy milk or almond milk. Now here is the problem. I forgot about straw for bubble tea. Just stupid to make it with a plastic bag, but it didn't work. So I used a spoon and regular straw. It tastes still good without a straw. Brown sugar milk tastes nostalgic. It reminds me of my childhood. And milk tea has an intense tea flavor because we simmer it in a pot. Last but not least, matcha milk. I like matcha the best. Matcha is so special for us and it goes well with milk. Summer is almost over. 
but the bubble tea boom is still going on. Give it a try and let me know how you like it. Thank you for watching the video. Give me a thumbs up if you like my video and share with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Go to my website for more information and complete recipe. And follow me on my social media and tag me on your post if you give it a try. And go and check my store on Amazon to start Japanese cooking. Thanks again and I will see you soon. Bye!